Hi guys, Rose here with the Cackly Moon. This is going to be a client's tarot reading. You're going to be looking on the future um, and the possibilities of travel for work. So my client wants to look into um, <clears throat> my client wants to look into possibly going back to Korea for work um, or overseas to China and um, the Middle East for work. So we're going to look at both options, okay? And my client basically says their family wants them to stay home. Like, well, not home home, but like stay in their hometown, their home country, um, rather than, you know, going back overseas. But my client feels like they are being called to, to travel and to go overseas for, for work and to live. So we're going to kind of look at all of that. Um, and to my client, before I even begin the reading, just know that nothing is set in stone. So everything that comes through is subject to change based on your actions. So anytime I give like a prediction reading or any kind of a future kind of a reading, just know that it's not set in stone. You don't have to stick with that path. It changes based on your actions. And also, um, <clears throat> If you feel called to go somewhere in it, you feel it in your heart, know that that is your intuition telling you something. Um, you, for some reason, you feel called to do this. And so if you do feel it, know that that's your intuition. So when I tell you in the reading to trust your intuition, that's what I mean. Um, other people telling you what you should do and like, like your family telling you to stay or go um, is not your intuition okay so just as long as you are aware of what the difference is so let's look about the korea path and we'll look at that versus the home life actually you know let's just pull for all three <laughs> because that's going to be easier for me to see everything on the table so we'll do home at the bottom Korea, and then this is Middle East or overseas like China. So home life, let's pull three. Korea, ooh, and Middle East or China. Okay, so right off the bat, looking at all of the cards, um, I can tell you that there's going to be more change, more temptation happening with Korea. Your heart is already guiding you to Korea. And I'm saying that because the devil came up. And anytime this card comes up, this is temptation. Okay. And it's not always a negative when you see the devil. So just keep that in mind. Um, but the temptation is there. That is where you were completely pulled to go. Okay. Um, what I also see is there is going to be an opportunity. So if you are putting in applications or if you do put in applications in the soon, like in the near future, there will be an opportunity, a job opportunity handed to you. So this could say, um, you know, <clears throat> someone will offer you a position in Korea or there will be some sort of an opportunity taking place in Korea that will allow you to move and, and venture over there. Um, let me just pull some oracles. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. What we're seeing here for, let's talk about the, um, let's talk about the, the home life first. hometown we have two of pentacle nine of pentacle and hierophant okay indecisive you are placed in a position of doubt because of what other people want for you when someone else is telling you you should stay here stay here this is where your family is this is where you know all of us are we want you here we miss you when you're gone blah 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 this places intense doubt onto you. And that's what the two of pentacles I see is coming up. It's, it's you constantly weighing out your options. You're juggling your ideas. You're juggling your feelings. You don't know which one to take. 
it causes intense doubt within you. The Nine of Pentacles is showing me this is mother energy um, or a fem like a sister or someone in your life that is very important to you. Okay, this could also be maybe you have wealth in the family or there's a means for you to be, um, you know, you, you like money won't be an option to worry about if you were to stay in your hometown. Okay, so maybe that's another reason why you're in doubt over this because maybe you feel like, well, I won't have to worry about money so much because it's easier to, to obtain money here where I live than it would be if I were to go to another country. And then the Hierophant is, this is tradition, okay? So when this popped up, I was thinking of like old school tradition or the same old, same old, the old fashioned. It's like, I feel like if you were to stay in hometown you won't grow or evolve as much as you would like to i feel like you will just kind of feel like you're just being how you are <sighs> like you're just not really evolving into the person that you want to be all of your studies would have gone to waste that kind of thing so i feel like the hierophant energy is like you you've outgrown this area you've outgrown this lifestyle and that is why you are feeling called to these two other areas the other card that I pulled for here is denial and so I feel like if you were to stay home if you were to stay in your hometown you are denying yourself the things that are calling to you the passions that you have your temptations which we talked about the devil here temptation so that's what I see with the home life what I see with the um, Korea, the temptation is there, obviously. So the devil is, is revealing um, the, re the, the ability for you to cut the chains off. Because when you're in your hometown and when you're surrounded by family, it's very hard to feel independent. It's very hard to feel like an adult, okay? So I do feel like going to Korea and, and really embarking on a life that you've always envisioned for yourself is going to free you. It's going to be so freeing for you. And the Ace of Pentacles is kind of revealing that opportunity. So like I was saying, if you put out job applications or if you've been putting them out, you're going to be hearing something soon. There will be an opportunity for you to take that will help you and allow you to go to Korea. Okay. We have the world card. And this is really important because the world is completion. She's finalizing everything. She's graduation. She's everything. This is what you worked for. So whatever you studied in school is calling to you in Korea. Okay? Whatever is coming full circle, your cycle of life in your hometown is ending. And it's time for you to start over. So I love that she came up too because I feel like that's so important for this path. And then I also pulled the loyalty card. Loyalty is all about being loyal to your heart and to yourself and to what you personally want and desire for your future. <laughs> so it's really nice to kind of see that pop up. And then going to the Middle East or China. So we have Ace of Swords. So there is opportunities with um, ideas and, and inspirations, you know, things of the mind popping up. You may be inspired with, oh, this amazing idea. If I go here, I could do this. Or if I go there, I could do that. This is also a card of intellectuality. So being intellectuality, I don't even know if that's a word. <laughs> of being intellectual so maybe you can take a class out there or there's something that's really you know gauging your interest and the seven of or the, I'm sorry the six of swords is all about travel and moving on from a stressful situation to something more peaceful but I feel like with that you have the tendency to bring with you baggage or stresses that can damper put a put a blah, 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 put a damper on your path so if you're not fully invested in this, which I feel like you're not, I feel like it's kind of a second, um, like a plan B versus your plan A over here. Um, I feel like there's still a little bit of hold back. So you're not quite ready to make that commitment because the hangman popped up. And to me, that's like, I usually would read the hangman as taking things slow in a timeline kind of a, of a situation. But I also see the hangman as like, Taking the time to observe the situations, feel out everything before you make a move. So you're not quite ready to invest like 
all of you into this path. And we have reminder. So I feel like this path, like to go to the Middle East or China, you would all, you would constantly have to tell yourself why. Why am I doing this? Why am I going here again? Why do I feel so called to come here? Versus in Korea where you feel called to go. Versus in the home life where it's like, this is where you grew up and stuff. But you want to venture off and this is where you really want to be. So that's done to get you like basically a nice idea of, you know, the, the three pathways that you were asking about. So if you want my advice, um, I would say always follow your heart. And I feel like it's pretty obvious that your heart is leading to Korea. So let's look and see what, what the path looks like when you embark 